hi everybody welcome to another video in this video as you read in the title we are going to write a C program to check if a number is palindrome or not we'll also draw the flowchart for the same code so let's first of all discuss what is a palindrome number so a palindrome number is a number whose reverse is the number itself for example there is a number 2442 so what is the reverse of this number reverse is again 2442 it means it is equal to the original number it means this number is palindrome number so now I hope you understood what is a palindrome number and what is not the reverse of an if the reverse of a number is equal to the original number then it is a palindrome number so how we will implement this logic in the previous video I told you how we find the reverse of a number so if you haven't watched that video you can first watch that video to understand how to find the reverse of a number so in this video we'll do the same we will input a number from the user we'll find the reverse of that number and then there is one more step that is that we will add we will check if that number the reverse is equal to the original number that the user has input or not right so the same logic that we applied in the previous code you can watch the previous video uh, it is linked in the description or you can access the playlist of C program there you will get the video to find the reverse of a number so here I'll straight away draw the flowchart for palindrome uh, number coming out of this loop this condition will be false that means the n will be equals to 0 here so we'll not compare it with the n we'll compare it with the temporary variable which is equal to n with that temporary variable t t has the value n original number if they are equal what I told you if it is equal we'll have to print a message that is print it is palindrome if it is false then we will print print it is not palindrome right and then stop we will connect this here stop right this is what we did start uh, we, as, we set our EV variable to 0 when we input a number from the user we stored that number in a temporary variable when we uh, implemented the logic to find the reverse of a number so here we found the reverse of the number after coming out of the loop we compared with the original number that is stored in the temporary variable t the reverse of the number if it is equal then we'll uh, print a message that it is palindrome otherwise we'll print the message it is not palindrome so let me dry run this code for you guys so that you can get a better idea so let's dry run and let us uh, assume that this is the number that the user has input so n is equals to 2442 so what we did we initially stored the number n to t so t has value 2442 the same value as n now 
if n not equals to 0 n is 2 4 4 2 and it is not equals to 0 that means this condition is true we'll get inside the loop and we will have remainder remainder is equals to 2 4 4 2 modulus 10 which is equals to 2 right and r e v we will have the initial value of r e e v is 0 so r e v will be equals to 0 into 10 plus 2 right r e m is 2 so 0 into 10 plus 2 that is 2 again and n will be equals to 2 4 4 2 modulus 10 that is 2 4 4 2 not modulus by 10 that is 2 4 4 then down now the value of r e m is 2 r e v variable r e v is um, also 2 and variable n is 2 4 4 again we will uh, check the condition of i loop n not equals to 0 n is 2 4 4 and it is not equals to 0 that means the condition is true we'll get inside the loop we will again n is 2 4 4 so remainder will be 2 4 4 modulus 10 so 2 4 4 modulus 10 is 4 that means rem new value is 4 then rev is equals to rev that means 2 into 10 plus 4 so 2 into 10 plus 4 right so it is 24 right and n is equals to 2 4 4 by 10 that is 2 4 so n is now 2 4 we'll compare again 2 4 not equals to 0 condition true again the value of rem will be 4 24 modulus 10 4 rev will be 2 4 4 4 2 4 into 10 plus 4 will be 2 4 4 and n by 10 will be 2 2 not equals to 0 now n value of n is 2 so 2 not equals to 0 condition true will get inside rem will have now value 2 rev will be 2 40 2 44 into 10 plus 2 that will be 2 4 4 2 and n will be now 0 2 by 10 will be 0 again we will check 0 not equals to 0 condition false will come out of the loop and this is the value of r e v r e v is equals to is equals to t this is t so now i hope you have understood why we did uh, why we stored n in temporary variable t because now n is 0 after coming out of the loop n is 0 and that's why we stored it in temporary variable t so as to compare it with the original number because now the original number has become 0. So we cannot compare it with n. We have to compare it with t in which we initially stored the original number. So if they are, they are equal, in this case they are equal. So for 2, 4, 4, 2, the value, uh, the message we will get is it is palindrome. So I hope you understood the flowchart. Now I will quickly write the code for you guys. 